Hey there guys, my name is Christian Sparks. You may know me online as Hippo Wombat. Uh, recently I released my uh, Unreal Engine 4 asset Orbit Weather and Seasons to the marketplace. Um, today I'm going to be covering a tutorial on how to set up a night scene using Orbit. Let's get started. Um, if you haven't already, um, be sure to check out the Marketplace Jumpstart video um, to kind of get you uh, to kind of help you hit the ground running with Orbit um, and understand a little bit of the uh, terms and controls. Um, we also have the cloud construction video, um, and I just released uh, the weather tutorial as well. Um, if you have any questions on those, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, and if you haven't checked them out, I definitely recommend that you do. So setting up a night scene, the first thing that we want to do, um, I'm just going to load this lightly cloudy pattern, which I already did, but this is just going to set everything to be controlled by the uh, current sun location, which is controlled by the time of day. So if you disable that, for example, with the uh, stratus clouds, if you lock the if you disable lock cloud colors to time of day and then drag that time of day slider down, everything else, the lighting, is going to be scaling with the time of day, but the clouds will not. Um, it'll also affect the uh, stratus clouds, so it's important to enable that. <clears throat> so, um, jumping back to whoops, time of day. Uh, I'm going to drag this value down from 1200 to something like midnight. Um, so the first thing that you'll notice if you're just loading up a default scene is that everything starts lighting up. Uh, the reason for that is our auto exposure settings are compensating for the lower light values. Um, so we need to adjust minimum brightness value. I'm going to jump this to 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.6, there we go. Um, jumping back over to orbit, it is properly dark, however, you can't really see the moon. Um, you can see where it should be by the spring arm component, you can kind of see its outline right there. The reason that you can't see it is because the moon phase is set to uh, self-shadowing currently. We're going to set this to a full moon by setting it to 0 0.5 on the scale. That's going to light everything up a lot because the moon directional light is actually fairly intense right now. Uh, to bring this down, we're going to set the moon lighting level down to a lower value. Let's bring it down to 0 0.02. We also have some ambient lighting going. Um, we can bring the ambient lighting night darkness down. Um, the higher this is, the lighter it'll be at night. The lower it is, the darker it'll be. So we're going to do 0 0.005 for ambient lighting. And let's bring the moon lighting level up a little bit. Okay, so now if I hit play, whoops, I was simulating. If I hit play in editor, we have a night lit scene. Um, you can see a little bit of the cloud backlighting um, from the moon. We can tweak this a little bit so that it's more prevalent. Um, I'm going to bump up the moon size to 14 um, and then head to the stratus cloud section. So this is going to control the backlighting for different objects. We're going to focus on the moon. So the moon lighting intensity. Um, I'm going to bump up the uh, cloud density just a bit so that we can see a little bit more. Uh, moon lighting intensity, I'm going to bump this to a thousand. So that's shining fairly well through the clouds. I'm going to tweak this moon lighting radius um, so we can control how far away from the moon that backlighting is occurring. So now we have a little bit of backlighting from the moon. Um, the stars are pretty appropriately lit. And we have ourselves a night scene. Now, these values should carry over if we set the time of day to simulate. So if I, I'm going to bump these cloud density values back a bit more. And under time of day, I'm going to hit simulate time of day. The day length is going to be 30 seconds or half a minute. 
and we're just going to let this simulate. And you can see the moon moving across the sky behind the clouds, rendering rays, and the sun is shining also backlighting the clouds as it passes over. And it should set here. And then up comes that moon lighting up the sky and the clouds and the world itself. Uh, and that's pretty much it for setting up a, a night scene um, in orbit. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button below so that you can get the latest updates and tutorial videos for orbit. Uh, thanks again for your time and I'll see you next time.